Man, today, I wanna talk to you about some of these kids having parents so jacked up, mothers and fathers, that a stepmama or a stepdaddy is the best chance they'll ever have in life. Let's talk about it. spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man today i'm gonna share with you something that a lot of people don't think about because this next generation of men and women are truly going to be jacked up and there are people out here you know men and women that will bring forth children and are still children themselves, you know, don't know how to get themselves out of a bowl of jello, you know, women that don't know how to be mothers, they don't even know how to be women, men that don't know what it means to be a man, don't know how to be a provider, a protector, a leader, and by no means, Am I trying to pressure a man into uh, fulfilling the role of being a stepdaddy or stepfather or a woman being a stepmother or, uh, you know, stepmama? That's not what I'm saying because, man, there's people out there that they mama, you know, was not invested in mothering them men and women and if it wasn't for whatever reason a man sticking by your mama you know y'all might have not had a roof over y'all head you know things might have been worse things might have been worse at that moment but they could have been worse listen to what i'm saying you know, I'll tell you a story, man. My mom, who has mental health issues, you know, was told very early on that my dad was no good. The preacher told them, hey, this is not a good union. You know, being rebellious, my mother and father still got married. And probably about a year after when I was born, Man, my dad just walked out of the picture, like literally. And later on in life, man, my mother struggled with unforgiveness and it will eat you up. You know, some people rebound and are blessed with better, but bitterness ate my mama up. Man, my mama, while we was living in section eight housing, you know, my mama had a boyfriend by the name of John. And I can tell you, man, John was an alcoholic. Was an alcoholic, but he wasn't abusive. You know, or any of that stuff that goes along with it. He would just, uh, you know, uh, like to sit around and get drunk. He never said nothing crazy to me, never tried to touch me or nothing like that. None of that kind of stuff that goes on. He would just sit around, drink 40 ounces, and pass out on the couch. That was his thing. But... The reason I'm talking about this is because, man, John would get up, walk to the bus stop if it was rain, sleet, or snow. He worked at a rest area on the interstate. And he would catch the bus to the bus stop that was probably about a mile and a half from the rest stop. And then he had to walk the rest of the way. And, and keep in mind, uh, my mom's boyfriend, John, has a, had a physical handicap. You know, guy was in an accident and never healed properly, but never once heard him complain 
about having to walk in the rain, you know, and would watch him come home and hand his paycheck over to my mama, who's not a good steward of money. I'll say that to this day. You gotta think, living in that environment in the hood, in Section 8 housing, at least I was able to pick up on that and say, oh man, at least this man is willing to work. You got kids out there that don't get to see that. And they grow up entitled and lazy. You know, you got some men out there that are not invested in their kids. And if it wasn't for the woman that's with that man for whatever reason, truly taking those kids to and from, filling in the gap, man, these kids would be down bad. You know, nobody talks about uh, a lot of these fatherless and motherless kids. If it wasn't for men that came along and for whatever moment tried to pour in and, and, and bring you in, a lot of these kids wouldn't have no chance. Man, I used to, as an army recruiter, man, I used to uh, talk to guidance counselors and there was one, uh, you know, one or two ROTC instructors that truly tried to bring kids in because I had to recruit in a very uh, impoverished part of town, you know, low income part of town. And if it wasn't for the ROTC program and the men and women that led that program to pull some of these kids in to make sure that these, man, I used to sit by and watch some of these kids, you know, would not eat at home. Didn't have no food at home. Single, single parent household, single mother household. These teens, you know, wouldn't eat at home, had no food. And I would watch these ROTC instructors uh, provide and bring extra food in. They would bring, uh, not only just eat day lunch, but they would bring additional food in for these kids that was troubled to be able to eat. Man, that is the, that is the best opportunity some kids are gonna get in life. So when you, when you think about some of these men and women that's raised in single parent households, single mother households, and don't have this opportunity that I'm talking about, don't be surprised if they down bad, if their head is all, you know, jacked up. You know, my mother and her boyfriend end up splitting up, but I can truly tell you with the issues my mother had, my mom's boyfriend had his own issues, but he would try to reason according to logic with my mama. And him being a drunk is ultimately why they they, they, they parted ways because he ended up just pissing in the bedroom closet one night thinking it was bad for him, you know? But a lot of these kids, man, a lot of these women, when a man says he's not willing to deal with single mothers, a lot of that has to do with the rebellion of single mothers. And for the sake of those kids, a lot of women know that they have they have laid down with no good men and them kids ain't got a chance in hell to make it if somebody doesn't come along and try to pour into them, uh, pour some kind of wisdom and logic into them. Just want you to think about that, man, because, you know, a lot of these men that you see out here are good. A lot of them don't come from two parent households and you would never know it unless they told you their story. It's something that's not talked about. And I'm not, you know, it, it is a choice for a man or for a woman to uh, want to take an interest or raise kids that are not their own. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of foolishness, it's a lot of dysfunction, you know? I'm very thankful for my wife now as we walk in truth for my daughter to be, able to, to be able to see a woman that's not teaching her all this vanity, that's actually teaching her to try to be covered, you know? Very thankful for that. Cause my, my ex-wife damn sure ain't, you know? But all of that, all of that stuff that I'm saying, you know, men and women in ignorance will choose some people that you probably shouldn't have uh, kids with. You probably shouldn't create a union with. And you gotta think about the mother and the father that's both spiritually retarded, trying to raise kids. Them kids ain't gonna have a chance. 
Host of the Yard Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.